of course, the big news going into this season was uh, Coach Joe Dooley, his first season. First season as a head coach in quite some time. Uh, he was assistant at Kansas for a decade. Uh, you know, the first thing that really had to happen was he had to get acclimated to the players and his new assistants, who we were hold over from Andy Enfield's staff. Uh, the bond went well. Joe uh, has a little bit more discipline system. Uh, he wants you to be uh, more fundamental on defense, a little less gambling. But he also wants you to be able to play in different styles, to be able to play in the half court, et cetera. Uh, FGCU had some more size going into this season. You had 6'10 junior Nate Hicks, who was uh, eligible after transferring from Georgia Tech. So that's kind of the way they kind of went into the season. Uh, Eric McKnight, the 6'9 Super Athletic Center for FGCU, was suspended the first 12 games. So it was a little bit of a slow start for Dunn City. Uh, they, were, uh, they were spanked in the season opener, opener at Nebraska. They were spanked at North Carolina State. Arguably their biggest uh, non-conference win was a one-pointer at Furman. So, you know, it was, it's been a work in progress all season. But by the time they got into conference play, Hicks was used to playing. McKnight was back in his starting role. Uh, Comer, Feeler, everybody, they're kind of clicking, doing the same thing. You could see the pace starting to pick up, starting to pick up, but still they were, you know, it was a work in progress. They were learning. As far as the A-Sun race goes, they got a big break from the start. North Florida, who uh, turned out to be a really, really fine team this year, they knocked off Mercer in their first game while FGCU uh, was winning. Mercer and FGCU got tied up because FGCU went to North Florida. They beat North Florida, but two days later they lost at Jacksonville. Throughout the rest of the A-Sun season, it's been nip and tuck. Mercer, FGCU, Mercer, FGCU, FGCU, Mercer. Mercer won the first game between the two teams in Macon by uh, double digits. FGCU returned the favor two weeks ago here. So it all came down to the last weekend. It all came down, well, actually it goes back to Thursday. FGCU had a chance to uh, pull away from Mercer with a win at Lipscomb. Lipscomb came out, they buried nine out of 12 three-pointers, made 13 threes, FGCU got blown away, 21 points on the road. Doesn't look good. 15, 20 minutes later, we find out uh, Mercer lost their first home game after 14 wins at home by three points in overtime. So that's, that's kind of just what set all this up. FGCU is here and they come in tonight full of confidence. They feel like they're really clicking, really rolling, and they actually feel just unbeatable in the Lico Arena. They're 13 and one here. They're 25 and two in the last two years. They've won all nine A-Sun games here. So they really think that they're set for a long run and perhaps another launching into uh, Sweet 16 type talk.